Obviously, we drained some of that energy before we go in here to feed the kikis. Ah, 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 ah. Yep, that was sloppy on my part. Back it up. Cool. Mistakes happen. We're going to try it again. Now, back it up. Thank you. Yeah, I'm sorry, kikis. Stop. I overestimated our self-control today, didn't I? Cool. When that happens, you just reset and you do it again. Stop. Good job. Cool. Unlatch. So I can keep my phone steady. No. Thank you. Stop. Thank you. Ah. You're not going to harass the old lady. Come on. Nah. Good. Nah. Good. Hello. Would you like some dinner? Oh, Stop. Oh, Good. Oh, and then the leash. Short enough, she can't lunge up to the counter if she wants to. <laughs> Don't. No. Sit, please. No. Sit. No. Sit. Good job. You know you're trying. Ah, 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 ah. This is where um, earplugs really come in handy. No. Stop. This side. Thank you. No. No. Good. Immediately goes to hunt for the cats in the living room. Mm-hmm. Is that annoying to you? Stop. No. No. Stop it. Stop. Back it up. This way? No. Now. Move. Cool. Not happy with this, but entirely my fault. So I'm going to keep this video and show it to you anyways, because everyone fucks up sometimes. This is an example of me. Nope. An example of me fucking up. And this is what I do about it. I'm a firm believer that you can learn far more from my mistakes and how I recover from them than from me doing everything perfectly. So, better that. No. Too much intensity. No. Okay, move. Good. This way. <sighs> right? Regulate my nervous system. Good girl. I cannot help her if my nervous system is also activated. If I want to help her slow down, I have to slow down. Good job. Much better. A little perked up, but not bad that. The way she comes around that corner is part of the problem here. Okay, this way. Good. Ah. Good. We're just going to do that corner a couple of times. Get it. Stop trying to sneak around it. Good. Thank you. No. Smooch. This way. Good. But I am having her do a little bit of a weird, like, figure eight by doing that. Let's see if I can do it again. Nope. Good. Nope. Good. Good. So I might bring her this way 
and then have her follow me. Good. Good job. Good. I might, let's adjust this. I'm not bopping you in the head with it, huh? Bring her this way. Good. Good. Or if I'm here, I might push her this direction first and then get her to spin around into a heel and follow me. Good. Ah, I know a little frustrated, but we were just playing. You should be good. <laughs> good. Much better. Also something to note here. <laughs> Hi. The cat's response. No. The closer he is comfortable getting to her, the less of a problem she's going to have. Right? And it's not <laughs> it's not a causation thing, it's a he is reading her intensity at least as well as I am. Good, so like there, he tried to come in, and he stops. She is too intense for that right now. Right? So you can stop it. You can use the cats. <laughs> to judge her level of intensity when you're working on things like this. Hey, thank you. Like this, he was just right behind me. Nope, he is staying the heck out of our way because she is a bit much right now. Like that. Ah, come back. Thank you. No, this way. Good. Good. There we go. All right. Mm -hmm. hmm. Come on this side, please. Thank you. All right. The only real reason I'm doing that is because I have the leash on my left hand. And because getting her to pay attention to the, where the leash is, is a great way to add this way, a little bit more mental stimulation, make her work a little bit more, make her focus a little bit more. Good, come in. Good job. Good. So you're thinking of that pattern is, oh, we come out, we go straight to the living room. You're right, we usually do, but hunting. Good. Ah, good. And if she's expected to stay on one side of me, nope, good. Then she doesn't get to just dodge to the other side so that she can get around me. Good, she has to pay more attention. Too much. No. Good. No. Good. Oh, I'm sorry, Kiki. Did I steal your chair? No. No. Back it up. She just thought about nipping my foot. That's another reason why it's nice to be able to use pressure rather than actually touching her. Good. Sometimes the bump will set that off. Good, good girl. Right, and all, also, all of these I'm turning ahead of her. Good. Because. Sorry, I can't find a song called Over. Okay, thanks. I'm turning in front of her because it. Good. Blocks and interrupts that behavior. Uh-uh. Move. Good. And then I can follow it up with a leash to give her extra guidance if she needs it. Nope. Thank you. Watch. Down. No. Stop. Good. 
the plan was to walk in, feed the kikis, nah, and let them out to hang out with us. The plan became, good, work on this. Good girl, he's so good. No, good, you want a snaggy? Yes, a little dog treat for the good pup. Itch. Nice. All right, quick. Okay, now that I have engagement, now that she's capable of prioritizing me over the cats at least to some extent, because I had none of this in a minute ago. Good. Now we can sit and relax. The thing is, moving will always be easier than staying still for this dog. It's not true for every dog, but it is for most dogs, and especially the ones that, <laughs> that are like this, that have a lot of energy. So, if she is struggling, I am not going to be able to get her to stay still successfully, right? If she can't be successful while moving, she definitely cannot be successful while sitting still. Ready? So for something like this with the cats, where I have no tolerance for trying to go after them, absolutely none. Uh-uh, good. I need to find ways to help her be successful regulating her stress level. Right? Most of her desire to go after them is stress related. They're not following the normal patterns of behavior. They get up on the furniture. They get on the counter. Nobody gets on the counter. That's fucking crazy. So I have to be able to tell her, good, that's not your job. And when you are frustrated, you don't go and take it out on somebody by trying to make them move. You don't nip at my heels. You don't nip at the cats. Good. And then for sitting here and doing work, <laughs> I just took the leash around my ankle and she can't go anywhere. Good. I can stop her if I need to by just bending down and grabbing it. Ah, ah, ah. Stop. Stop. Good. Scratching. Maybe she's stressed. several minutes of peace, but then the cat moved and now she's wandering around and yelling. Hmm? No. Thank you. Mm -hmm. No. Not cute. I understand wanting affection to help self-regulate, but you do not invade my personal space for it. This is where if I reciprocate this level of engagement right now, she's going to get overexcited nope. and start winding and have a hard time winding down. She doesn't do well with 100% of my attention on her if it's not directed into an activity. 
So if I want her to relax, I'm not directing 100% of my attention to her. I mean, obviously I'm paying attention to her right now. I'm not paying attention to anything else, but her experience of it is what matters. Which means I'm not going to look directly at her if she comes over here and starts... Hey. She comes over here and stares at me and wants things. I'm not going to look directly at her because that is going to feed into any stress or anxiety that she feels right now regarding the cats. Any frustration, she expects me to relieve it for her immediately. And I could do that, but... The purpose of this is that she needs to learn how to self-regulate. No. No. Hey, stop pulling on me. Thank you. Obviously, I'm still helping her with that, but you have to structure the training around what your dog thinks is happening. No. Around what you want your dog's experience of a thing to be. Stop it. No. Mm hmm Stop. Stop. No, dude. Too much. Cut it out. Come here. Stop. You need to chill. Chasing the cats is not an option anymore. Lay down. Nope. Lay down. Uh-huh. And the cat immediately moves away. No, lay down. I'm gonna wait because she can't leave. Lay down. Good job. That is definitely not a relaxed look down. But again, I will take it because she did it. I'm just going to watch her because in this position, she is far more likely to get up. There, that's better. And I like to be prepared for that just in case she's going to try to launch. And she, she's not likely to do that, but safety. Yeah, she just picked up her bowl and dropped it a couple of times. And you know what I'm going to do about it is absolutely nothing. I'm going to completely ignore her. And then she immediately looks at me. What that means is picking up the bowl and, and fucking with it has gotten her attention. So she does it for attention. If I do not engage with her for doing that, she's going to stop doing it. Or... I grab her, put the leash on her, and make her stay up close to me again. Yeah. 
I'll probably do both. But I'm gonna ignore this first. Because I don't want to reward it by getting up and interacting with her to put the leaves on. Again, I am not looking at her. Yeah. Watching her in the phone a little bit. But she was getting zero eye contact from me. My body is fully turned away from her. No, get off. She needs to learn that if you want attention, you have to be calm and polite. 